It's overwhelming, especially today. I drove crying. We want something done now. For the second time in six months, a bus driver is stabbed on the job. After a murder in May, Hart began installing safety shields on buses. And they're making progress, but tonight we know that only four out of every ten buses in the fleet still have no protection. So why is it taking so long to install all of the barriers as needed? Eight on your side, investigative reporter Masa Saidi is looking into that tonight. Keith Stacy Hart tells us they're speeding up the installation process tonight, but drivers want to know why this is only happening now after a second attack. This is one of 76 Hart buses on the road tonight with no safety shield. Police say the driver hospitalized yesterday also had zero protection, just like driver Thomas Dunn killed in May. You sent the operators out this morning in the same situation that happened back in May and happened on yesterday. Eight on your side uncovered hard drivers have been assaulted 11 times this year, 17 times last year, and 20 times before that. Hart says these numbers are in line with national trends. But tonight, drivers say Hart should be installing the shields at a faster rate. Thomas done with murder. It shouldn't have been another bus going out. Now, after the latest attack, Hart tells Eight on Your Side they're speeding up the installation process, doing it twice as fast. And an email, the agency said, quote, Hart is receiving a rolling inventory as production is completed. Completed. But wait, another potential problem. We are inside one of the buses that have the protective barriers in place. And as you can see, you still have access to the bus driver. Drivers tell me even this is not enough to make them feel safe. The barrier can't stop me. We need someone on the buses on these routes that's more dangerous. Tonight, drivers on edge and no easy solution. So Hart started rolling out the shields last month. In their statement, they seem to be saying that the delay was partly because of a manufacturing issue. We wanted clarification. So hours ago, we asked, how many shields did you receive, and when did you receive the shields? And guys, they haven't got back to us to tell us the answer there. Hmm. But they are getting more safety training. We mm -hmm. know that some of these shields are installed, but I mean, based upon what I just heard in your report, the drivers don't feel all that safe that this is... Even you know, with the, the shields. They cure all this shield. I mean... Yeah, are so, they concerned about it still? Yeah, they are still concerned. They say that it does help. It gives them a little bit more space and a little bit more time to react. And tonight, the real question is, what are people in other jurisdictions, yeah. agencies doing? And we're just starting to investigate what type of shields do they have. So right. our investigation is just starting tonight. Right. Thanks, Masa. And if you have a problem you would like Masa to investigate, call our 8 on your side helpline, 1-800-338-0808.